Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the end effector. And I will go ahead and say that I don't have the retainer clip that we need to hold the hot end on. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to install the auto leveling probe and we're going to install our smooth rods and we're also going to go ahead and install our uh, hardware for the Bowden. And one thing I want to note is that I had these made. Um, I ordered these pre-made. If you make them yourself they're really a big pain in the butt. You'll end up splitting these graphite rods unless you have some pretty steady hands because you have to drill out the inside diameter of this in order to attach there's a piece of all thread that goes in here and these are like RC car uh, universal joints for like for for the uh, shocks and stuff just really cheap cheap little uh, universal joint that swivels um, but I had these made they were 35 bucks well worth the cost uh, for the headache that you would have so if you're looking for the two number one things that you want to go ahead and order ready I would suggest the rods and I would suggest the motors getting those ready and we're finally going to go ahead and use some of our lock washers our lock nuts and we're also going to need our long bolts which are going to well those are the incorrect bolts we'll grab the right bolt for you we're going to need longer bolts that are going to connect the smooth rods to our end effector so what you do is basically just shove one of your lock lock nuts in the back and screw all your rods on and one thing I will say is that once you get one rod on one side it gets to a point where you don't have very much clearance so just be mindful of that and I'm gonna go ahead and screw all the rods on and then we're gonna go ahead and move to the auto level 